Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron, and today I want to show you the difference between zooming in DaVinci Resolve 17 and Vegas Pro 18. Actually, most versions of Vegas Pro. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You're like my best friends. So here we have some video footage of a police car. Let's start. I want to show you how to zoom. We're going to use dynamic zoom because if you get the keyframes and zooming, it's, it's really complicated. If you think Vegas Pro is complicated, this is 10 times more complicated than Vegas Pro. So we're going to use dynamic zoom. Now zoom all depends, the speed of your zoom all depends on the length of your clip. If it's a long clip, it's going to be a, a real long, slow zoom. Let's make it shorter. Okay, let's go turn dynamic zoom on. On. Now, you have a number of different uh, zoom here. You got linear, it's the same speed. Uh, the other ones, ease in, ease out, and uh, ease in and out. Just different speeds, but we're going to use linear here. So zoom is going to be a constant rate. It's going to zoom at a constant rate, in or out. So let's go to overlay here. Click dynamic, dynamic zoom. Let's play it through. Oh, I'll, just, I'll, I'll tell you one thing here. The green box is the starting, and the red box is the ending. So let's play through. So we're zooming out. Now to change this, all you have to do is click swap. Now we'll zoom in. So it's a very simple procedure for zooming in DaVinci. But like I said, if you get into keyframes, it gets a lot more complicated. So you can also pan in here too. So let's say, so we're zooming in. Let's say you want to zoom and pan at the same time. So let's take this red box, smaller, and we zoom in. That's where it says police. You know, let's play this through. Okay. That's zooming, just, just touching on zooming in DaVinci 17. So let's try zooming in Vegas Pro now. All right, now we're in Vegas Pro 18. Let's do the same thing. Go to Event, Pan and Crop. Now, first of all, we're going to zoom in. Let's, let's do something here. We're going to go right to the end. Cursor right to the end. Zoom all the way in. Play this through. Watch this. So we're zooming in. Now you can change the speed of this. By just dragging the keyframe closer to the start. So with Vegas Pro, you're using keyframes here. You're not using the boxes like DaVinci. DaVinci is completely different. It does use keyframes in some areas of the zoom, but they're extremely difficult to learn. Vegas Pro is much, much easier to learn, and you have a lot, a lot of control over Vegas Pro, as, as well as DaVinci. you, you got to give DaVinci some credit. DaVinci Dynamic Zoom is, is a really great feature. Let's do some more uh, playing around in Vegas Pro. Let's get rid of this keyframe here. And then start at the beginning here. We're going to zoom all the way in. Let's see what I have it here. Go to the end. Right click. Restore. So play this back now. So we're zoomed in. And we're going to zoom out. So you can get, there is another way to do zooming as well. It's going on a track motion. Doing track motion. That's, that's another way of zooming. But it's a lot more complicated using track motion for zooming in to, uh, into a, I see if you have another clip overlaying on top of this one. You can use uh, track motion for, for zooming in, zooming out as well. But that's, that's another story. This, this can, this tutorial is strictly to, 
differences between a zooming in in DaVinci and Vegas Pro. So you be the judge which one you like better. Uh, for me, I still prefer Vegas Pro because I've been using it for so many years. I'm so used to it. If I was using DaVinci for the last four years, I'd probably say DaVinci is better. But DaVinci has a really steep learning curve. It's a very, very difficult program to learn, whereas Vegas is a very easy program to learn. So just touched on the topic of zooming and DaVinci and Vegas Pro. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.